Hey rock stars, my name is Bjorn de Rock. Welcome back to the channel in another top five video. Realm Royale has a unique feature called runes, allowing you to power up your character in many different ways in each match. There's a total of 16 runes in game, each giving a different ability or power up. These are your top five runes in Realm Royale. Let's go. Number five, lifesteal rune. Gain 30% lifesteal? Yes, please. This rune can put in work. This rune allows you to be outputting damage to your enemy while gaining back health you may have taken in the fight. The power of taking their health and replenishing your own allows you to last longer in a firefight as well as use le less health potions. That being said, health potions are very plentiful in this game, so that forced my hand at putting lifesteal at your number five spot. And a lifesteal? Let's go! This is good stuff, man. 15% lifesteal, headshot damage, and weapon damage rune. There's a guy right here. I freaking melted that guy! Let's go! Number four, headshot rune. This is personally one of my favorite runes overall. I'm constantly aiming for my opponent's head because I love the ding sound it makes. The extra damage melts enemy armor and health, but doesn't help you eliminate chickens, and is very dependent on your aiming skills. For these reasons, I can't put this rune any higher on the list. Headshot rune dings its way to number four. There we go. Headshot rune, baby. 50% headshot damage, huge. Big headshots there. Big headshots. Number three, weapon damage rune. This rune gains 15% of damage for any weapon you're using. Meaning, if you and your opponent are using the same weapons with the same rarity and are both landing your shots effectively, you will come out on top in this fight. If you find a weapon damage rune early game and are unable to find a high power gear, you definitely still have a fair chance in any firefight with that extra damage. Weapon Damage Rune powers up your number three spot. What do we got? Weapon Damage Rune, beautiful, let's go. Big headshots. Got him. Huge. Number two. Reload room. What can I say about this room? It's fairly self-explanatory. Faster reload times gives you a major advantage in a firefight, especially if you're getting third and fourth party. It is even more true for weapons with a smaller clip size, like Stone Staff, my personal favorite, Sniper Rifle, which only has one in the magazine, and Revolver. If you're able to reload faster than your opponent, that means you're also able to output damage faster as well. This comes in very handy for those pesky chickens with a speeder health rune. Reload rune zooms its way to number two. Reload rune, beautiful. Let's actually go. The fog sets in. Let's go. I reloaded like three times in that fight because I'm so fast. Honorable mentions. Armor potion and healing increase rune. These runes are great. Don't get me wrong. I love them both and snag them up whenever I find them. However, their downside is that you need to have potions or a healing support ability for them to have any sort of effect. That's why these two runes are off the top five countdown. What is this? Armor potion rune. Very nice. Did this get on the list? Oh, this was an honorable mention. For the only reason 
It's really effective, but I don't have any any potions right now. I don't have any armor potions right now, so technically it's useless until I get an armor potion. Healing increase rune again. Armor, armor increase and healing increase are somewhat effective. Nice! That's a 14 kill dub. That's my best game since switching over to PC. Beauty! Hey guys, thanks for watching this far. I hope you enjoyed the countdown. The link to my other top 5 videos will be down in the description below. Click that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. You can always watch live at twitch.tv forward slash Bjorn to rock. This is your number one rune. Number one, passive repair rune. This rune is clutch. Gives you 10 armor per second when out of battle. What that means is you're regenerating your very important armor bar back to full while you continue to loot. This is great for a few reasons. It allows you to save your precious armor pots for mid-fight mid situations. And it allows you to actively have some extra damage even if you're unable to slash can't afford to forge more armor. This rune has saved my life on numerous occasions. There's really nothing like having a full yellow bar and 10 spare potions late game. Passive Repair is your number one realm rune, and I'm pretty sure you can agree with that selection. Yes, Passive Repair, that's beautiful right now. Let's go. Two real good runes right now. I'm going to swap this for this. No, you know what? Better not. Look at this passive repair rune doing work. There's absolutely nothing like having a full armor bar and 10 potions because you don't have to drink them.